Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you're doing well. Just a real quick video here. Just been on the DJI.com website and saw that they've just launched the Osmo Plus, what they're calling Motion with Zoom. So I just took a bit of time to have a look at what this camera is offering and how does this compare to the current Zenmuse X3 that comes with the current Osmo that we've been featuring all along. So I'm hoping that this video may help those people who are considering purchasing an Osmo for the very first time and may not be aware that there is now an additional third Osmo Osmo if you like, if you count the X5 as an additional Osmo camera. So we now have three different cameras that you can use with the DJI Osmo ecosystem. So the first thing I checked out is really some high level specs if you, if you like. So the first thing that they're really, really profiling is this seven times zoom but i say that with a little bit of a caveat because this zoom actually consists of two portions of the zoom so you've got the optical zoom which in my simple definition is the zoom that you can actually make without deterioration of the pixels you know really getting the same quality image and they also have two times digital lossless zoom in my experience anything to do with digital zoom never really gives you the same kind of crisp image quality that you would expect with a normal optical zoom so take this seven times zoom with a pinch of salt if you may um, but that's the first real difference with this camera so as a result the focal distance is now 4 to 14 millimeters which is equivalent to a 22 to 77 millimeter lens meaning you can really zoom into the subject the other thing to note is this two times digital lossless zoom is only available when you're shooting in 1080p full hd nothing mentioned about uh, 4k video another big difference to this camera is the field of view now has a range of 35 degrees to 92 degrees you will recall with the current osmo that our field of view is 94 degrees and that's fixed it also had a fixed aperture of f 2.8 whereas with the new osmo plus the aperture range is f 2.8 to f 5.2 so that represents two additional f stops for this new camera another big difference is the way the camera is now hinged to the motors that provide all the stabilization so in the old osmo in the original osmo notice that it was just hinged with the three motors one at the back one on the side and one at the bottom but with the new osmo plus you can see that it now has an additional it could actually be an additional motor i'm not too sure about this but if it is then that should provide even additional stabilization for us or it could be just be a support handle but that's another big difference that i'm noticing just from the initial browsing that i've just made on on this website if we check out some of the specs in detail we see that the handle is exactly the same the gimbal itself the gimbal system itself um 221 grams was the existing osmo the osmo plus weighs about 47 grams more 268 grams that possibly is as a result of that additional motor or that additional support unit so it's going to be slightly heavier than the current osmo other things to note here on the specs everything's pretty comparable you know the iso range is exactly the same the focus distance has also changed so the original osmo was 1.5 meters to infinity in the new osmo on this spec sheet it's claiming one meter to infinity but when you look on other literature it's claiming that you can start focusing from a distance of 0.5 meters so 0.5 meters one meters we don't know which is which until we actually get to use it and test it ourselves other new features here include a motion time lapse which now you can um, you can now set it up in such a way that your start and end points are different giving you that smooth motion during that time lapse as you can see in this video so that's a really nice feature i would definitely want to check that out yeah so quite a lot of new features here you know some really really cool like the optical zoom i'll definitely be interested in in that the new time lapse feature definitely and i also want to check out whether this indeed is an additional motor because if it is then the stabilization is just going to be that much better but the big question is is it really worth the price premium that you're paying 629 pounds as opposed to 489 pounds if you haven't already bought the osmo are you gonna buy the osmo plus or you're gonna stick with the original osmo if you already own the original osmo are you tempted to also boost up your kit and 
get the Osmo Plus. I've also tried to look over this website to see if there's a possibility of just buying the camera without having to buy the handle. And so far, I haven't seen anywhere where you can just buy the Osmo Plus camera and use your existing Osmo handle, which, you know, if you've got an ecosystem like the Osmo, should really be an option. So let us know what you think about the Osmo Plus. Do you think the price point is worth it when you consider the features? And um, just let us know in the comments down below. So thanks everybody for watching and uh, take great care. We'll talk to you real soon. Cheers. Bye.